Hey everybody, Mike from PSK Performance here. I just got a, another new toolbox. I have a few of them, plus carts and things hanging on the wall, but this is my primary toolbox here with all my hand tools and things I use on a daily basis. So I figured that we would do a quick review of that. Um, I primarily work on imports in European cars, so uh, a lot of the tools in this box are going to be geared towards that repair. Nothing big. So, start my top drawer. All right. Sockets, ratchets, half inch stuff, impact, chrome. Uh, some of my favorite tools here, these are from Maco. These are what I call super sockets. Okay. They're, uh, they can help you get out something that's a little bit rounded or stripped. Uh, they've saved my life a bunch. I got them uh, deep, shallow. And I also have them in 3 8 deep. Um, I have a couple special sockets over here in the corner. Tie rod socket, lug nut strip sockets, um, flip sockets, um, Volkswagen cylinder head, O2 sensor, Porsche wheel keys, etc. Half inch stuff. Look at this. It's my first snap on ratchet. And this thing is probably older than my dad. Okay, look at that thing. Still works great though. Still works great. What do we got? It's really expensive hex heads. My 3 8 ratchets. I got all kinds of ratchets. I got Mako, Snap on, Gear Wrench. You know, whatever works. They all break. Gotta have swivel sockets. These are snap-ons, are my favorite. And then this tool here, the low profile ratchet. Low profile 3.8s with the low profile sockets. Definitely a great tool to have working on some small imports. That and I got the same thing in quarter inch low profile. Alright. What do I got here? Oh, you know, everyone has their junk drawer. Well, this is mine. First aid kit, batteries, tape, gloves. Uh, this is some of the wrenches. Um, like I said, I have wrenches in this toolbox. I have some wrenches on the wall. Uh, this is the ones I use the most. Uh, Blue Point, Blue Point Flex Gear wrenches. Some six point. Uh, my Mako Extended, I love these. I've had them for years. Uh, some shorter Mako ratcheting wrenches, zero offset. Gear wrench stubbies. Uh, my larger ones that I use for alignments. Multiple flare wrenches I've gotten over the years. Some miscellaneous, and this is one set of SAE wrenches I have in the box. Just so I do have something in this toolbox in one place to go grab. Screwdrivers, nothing crazy. To me, a screwdriver is a screwdriver. It just depends on how good the warranty is. Uh, the snap-on stuff, I got snap-on, Harbor Freight, Craftsman. Uh, snap-on Allens, uh, Cobalt Allens. Uh, micro screwdrivers, micro torques. Pocket screwdrivers, picks, long picks, miscellaneous bits in universal drives. That right angle drive is pretty sweet though. I've had this for a long time. This guy's pretty cool. Milescraft. I don't even know where I got it, but it's pretty great. Alrighty, air tools. Now being a shop owner and being the primary tool provider, I should say, uh, I really don't have someone to go borrow a tool from, so I kind of have to have backups of everything. So I have my big Mako um, half inch with 1300 breakaway. I have the Quiet IR. I have a Blue Point half inch. Uh, I have uh, the matching Mako 3.8s, a Cobalt 3.8s, and a Blue Point 3.8s. Um, both of those are pretty shitty. I won't lie to you. A couple right angle grinders. A couple air ratchets that have kind of been sitting since I got my battery powered ones. This is my version of Big Nasty Erico. 
I've had this tool for, I want to say, eight, nine years. Still going. Uh, then, you know, different cookies, different cutters, different bits. Now, right, here we go. Uh, porting tool that I use for grinding away just about anything from exhaust bolts to uh, valve chambers, you name it. Port matching. The drawer of moving stuff, breaking stuff, and filing stuff. Got my hammers, the judge, the jury, can't read it anymore, and the executioner. Corny, but I like it. Small pry bars, lady feet, pickle forks, uh, air hammer bits, you know, uh, drives and chisels, and some files. Anytime you have to open this drawer, you're having a bad time. Drill bits, restore kits, tap and die set, extractors, sawzall bits, you know, all the stuff that a, a technician up north in the Rust Belt needs. Oh my god, here, I got a couple of the bigger things. Um, this is the vacuum coolant fill kit from Snap On, very good for uh, Volkswagen and Audis. Cooling system pressure tester, harmonic balancer pulley puller kit, uh, fan clutch wrench kit, a couple pullers and installers. I'll go over here. This is probably one of my favorite drawers. All oh, my battery stuff. This guy, I love this tool. This Snap On 3/8s. My air tools basically sit. I use this all the time. Pliers, these vice grips, probably my favorite tool in this drawer. Torque wrenches, half inch, three eighths, three eighths, quarter inch, three eighths. Bought it brand new, didn't have the correct battery for it. I have never used it. Uh, different, uh, what do I have here? Vacuum testers. These are Torx and, uh, a hex kits. Mako axle nut socket kit. And a, also another large Torx, um, Torx, Allen's, basically every Euro fastener style socket in the kit. Over to this one. Measuring devices, brakes, spark plugs, uh, digital calipers, feeler gauges, uh, drawer full of special tools. This is a Mini Cooper timing chain kit uh, tool I did a review on. This is the 4-2 uh, Volkswagen cam lock tool for the 4-2 um, uh, in the Toreg. Uh, dial caliper. Uh, what do we got here? We got the Volkswagen TSI cam lock tools. This is the FSI cam lock tools. This is the crank holder tool for the Volkswagens. Seal puller, and then this is an awesome Blue Point uh, dual overhead cam universal locking kit. Uh, sometimes it's nice that you don't necessarily need these, but you know, like some of the some of the Honda Odysseys, they really like to jump on you uh, when you're not paying attention. So this helps keep everything in place. Trim tools, uh, pop rivet tools, etc. This is a really awesome radio removal kit uh, that I got from uh, Schwaben and ECS Tuning. Definitely worth the 20 bucks. Bought it to pull the radio on my own B7 Audi. This drawer, yet to be determined. This is her.
I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for it, but you know, the last toolbox I had for 10, 10 years, so this one's going to be around for a while. 